Selecting a starting quarterback is one of the major decisions that keep head coaches up at night, especially following the graduation of an All-State player like Mark Ranowski at Neuqua Valley. Wildcats coach Bill Ellinghouse had to struggle with that scenario heading into the shortened spring season before eventually tapping then-sophomore Mark Menneke for the starting role. From the very first game, it was clear that the quarterback position was once again in great hands. The young lefty led the Wildcats to a perfect 4-0 record and continued the dual threat tradition left behind by Gronowski, making big plays game after game with his arm and his legs. He's got the, the demand of the huddle now. Um, you know, as a sophomore, you know, that's always a little bit more difficult, but uh, moving forward this year, we feel like, you know, he's come in into that leadership role, um, you know, very nice as of, as of today. <laughs> it's just good experience to have those four games under the belt. And uh, for this year to just come out and be more confident. The Cats also have depth at the QB spot, as senior right-hander RJ Cluxton showed he could make plays when called upon in the spring as well. Now this young squad is ready to build on the spring for a full season run this fall. You know, we feel really good about you know the summertime. Um, they actually had a, a full summer, first time they've done that. Um, you know, really as a collective group, and then uh, certainly you know. Uh, moving forward into, into August, this first week has been a really good week, and uh, you know we're looking forward to see what what uh, what real football is like come, come August. Yeah, I feel like uh, we just play with the chip on our shoulder, and like conference champions, we're looking like looking past that. Obviously, we're, we want to win that, but uh, state state championship like netting this year for sure. Longtime starters Armani Moreno and Trey Borski have graduated, but this Nequa offense will have no shortage of weapons. Receivers Carter Sessa, Grant Larkin, and Justin Nonenman all return after honorable mention all area seasons, and the connection with their young quarterback will only continue to grow. I think we built the chemistry over the off season and in the weight room, so I think this year we're gonna come back and stronger and better. Just going out to the field like commissioners, like throwing the ball around, and that helps too. Yeah, I think uh, the four games are really important because I never played with Mark before and some of the younger receivers have. So just giving that confidence with like me and him that like and uh, the whole receiver group that really helps. Junior Jaden McGee will take a larger role in the running game this year, while Grant Larkin should see some carries out of the backfield as well. Despite the loss of Borski, the DVC Defensive Player of the Year, linebacker Cole Dutkovich and Palmer Domsky provide stability for the defense. Domsky was not only the team's leading tackler, he also handles the kicking duties. I feel like me and Cole especially have filled out spot uh, a lot. We learned a lot from Trey and a lot of the other seniors like Peyton Matthews and Christian Allen. Uh, just learning to fly around and truly uh, get after, like our saying is gotta get after that. But um, yeah, we just learned a lot from them and truly it's uh, showed this summer and it's going to show this uh, fall. It's a fun start to the season as Nequa welcomes Oswego into Barbaro Stadium for a rare regional matchup with one of the top programs in Class 7A. There have been some epic battles between the Blue and Gold and Naperville Central in recent years, and with last year's matchup being canceled due to COVID, the entire state will have their eyes on that Week 5 clash. After winning back-to-back -back DVC championships, it's fair to say that Nequa Valley is the team to beat in the conference heading into the season. We're probably the most confident we've ever been. Uh, we really didn't have to restart anything. Uh, honestly, adding more in this year than ever because uh, it, it was spring and now right back into it. So this summer's been just truly on implementing and uh, really uh, finishing every play to uh, the best we can. It is nice for a coach because we're used to doing that. We're used to the grind. But uh, some of these kids aren't used to that grind right now. So um, it's going to be a little bit, uh, little bit different for them. And uh, they're going to have to embrace the fact that uh, there is a nine-game schedule, and then you, you know you hope to, to have playoffs after that. So I mean, it'll be much different than than the four games we played last year. And like I said, with a real young team like we have, um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how well they they battle through a, a much longer season, hopefully this year. As usual, whether they are the hunters or the hunted, the Wildcats are ready to fight to stay on top. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.